Okay, hello everybody. So today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Chiaki on Nintendo Switch. Um, Chiaki is an application used on homebrew switches and many other or devices as seen here on the screen to stream PlayStation 4 onto said device. Um, today we'll be using doing the Switch, so just go to this link that I have in the description below. And then you're going to want to click download the one that says switch.zip. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so I already have it downloaded. I don't need to uh, re-download it then. So then you're going to want to pull up your downloads folder. And since it'll become a, it'll be a zip, it'll, obviously it comes out in zip. So you're just going to want to extract it. And this is the folder that you're left with. Okay. Inside that folder is just one uh, .nro file. This file is going to go straight into your switch directory and in order to do that you're either going to do SD card or use an FTP, FTP client, <laughs> sorry about that. And right now obviously I currently am using an FTP client because simple. So what you want to do then, or and same goes for if you, know, you just plug your SD card into your computer, just go to switch and you're going to want to just drag and oh, and drag and drop it into your folder and then it's taken a little bit because it's FTP so I will skip forward or something over this okay so now it is transferred on over to my switch and everything I will meet you guys over there on that okay so now that we're on the switch um you want to do is open up your homebrew menu through the uh, you know homebrew options you know hold down R uh, and then here's Chiaki so you're gonna open it up and first things first oh sorry <laughs> first things first and the PSN online ID you're gonna go ahead and put in your um, actual PlayStation name that everyone knows you by, you know, and then, <laughs> and then actually we're going to go back over to the computer in order to get our PSN account ID. So let's go do that. Okie dokie. So now that we're on the computer again, you're going to want to go to the second link that's going to be in the description. And now this is pretty straightforward step. You're just going to want to copy this link right here or click open link in new tab. And what this is going to do is get you your authentication token to get your profile ID. So it'll open up the PlayStation Sony um, website. You're just going to sign into your account. And then once it signs in, you'll see up here, it says redirect. Just copy this link, this web address, go over here and uh, click control V and enter okay and it seems to be having issues where it doesn't go through the first time so what I do is just refresh control V again and there we go and then down here the bottom of all the stuff is your account ID this is what we are going to put into our you kind of um, into our Chiaki app sorry you can either put it directly into the Nintendo Switch or you can always use an FTP client or straight into the SD card. So what you want to do, if you want to do it right on the S, um, excuse me, right through the SD card, you just open up Switch, okay, and then, sorry, I'm just gonna get this organized, and then you're just gonna go down to right here, the Chiaki.config. Just drag it over here so you can access it, open it up. And then right here, you're just gonna go ahead and put in your ID, which I forgot to copy to paste. And you're just gonna paste and save, exit, and there we go. Now we are ready for pretty much the last step, which will be connecting it to the PlayStation 4. So I'll see you on over there. So one thing I did actually forget, which is very important obviously, is to drag the folder right back into 
your SD card, just overwrite. And there we go. Now onto the PlayStation, the final step. Okie dokie. So now we're on the final step, which is connecting the PlayStation to the Nintendo Switch Chiaki. So first off, you're going to want to make sure you have the Chiaki app open on the Switch. And once it's open, as long as it's open, you'll see your, you should see your PlayStation listed on the left sidebar. What you're going to want to do then is go to that PlayStation and click Connect. You will then be prompted for a PIN code. So what you will want to do is go on the PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 because it is compatible. You're going to want to go on the Settings application. Scroll down to the Remote Play Connection Settings. And then, once you're in that, you're going to want to just click Add Device. And then you just input your code that shows up on your PlayStation. And connect. And then there you go. Bada book, bada boom. You can now do Remote Play on the, play on the Nintendo Switch. Um, if for some reason it doesn't go through properly the first time, you know, just retry it. Like, um, when I was connecting, my whole entire Chiaki application just closed for an error. But then I restarted it, reconnected, and it worked perfectly. But, so, uh, stay around for some little test play on Chiaki on, on the PlayStation 4 playing to the Switch. Thank you, guys. Okay, so first off, just want to show you guys, um, I am using the Joy-Cons, obviously, just wanted, didn't want Jason to go, has been boozling you or nothing, but I did, because I did mess up this, uh, left railing, it's somehow, well, not somehow, I messed up on the connection, so I can only use, I can't use these two Joy-Cons simultaneously, I'll have to get that fixed in the future, but for now, we're just gonna control it with these from a distance, but... Uh, here's an example of, you know, gameplay on the Switch. Uh, the PlayStation 4 streaming to the Switch. Um, let's just do a digital. No, oh, whoops. Fun fact. I'll show you guys what I mean. <laughs> okay, so here, while this is loading, um, you gotta keep in mind that the button layout is gonna be completely different than on... I don't have a PlayStation with the actual numbers. But it's going to be different than the PlayStation. So, this is going to be your O. This is your X. This is your square. This is your triangle. You know, it's the same, maintains the same thing as PlayStation 4, just, you know, on the Switch. But you got to keep in mind, too. Also, another thing is, the way that the streams is over Wi-Fi. So, if you're like me, you don't have good Wi-Fi. Expect some latency, some lag, okay? Um, it's always recommended to have your PlayStation completely Ethernet and everything. But, uh, this actually isn't too bad of a lag right now. But still here. Oh, I forgot. Let's just go to the border house. Let's just do a quick little test. I haven't played Tony Hawk in so long. Oof. Blame that on latency. <laughs> yeah, I'm trash. Also, I am playing this through my uh, <laughs> camera. What was that? Through my camera phone. My iPhone camera. Ooh, see, right here I'm getting some bad latency. It just ain't fully pulling through. But so let's, um, let's try a new game. So in order to get to the, for the home button, you're going to click, you know, the minus. That's the, that's the PlayStation button. <laughs> That's gonna take a minute to. I'll fast forward to this one.
Ooh, that lag. When it lags, it messes up the Joy-Con input <laughs> so badly. Okay, so I wouldn't recommend, you know, playing a AAA game really, I guess, maybe on Wi-Fi. Or it'd be on Ethernet if I were y'all. I am getting... Oof. <laughs> but alright, so that was some game tests. And um, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video and everything. Thank you for tuning in if you stayed in this long. And hope you everyone's staying safe and survives this gosh dang virus. Peace out, everyone.